Hello. All right. So right now we're recording and we're streaming at the same time. Hopefully I make no mistakes at this point. And I'm going to try to make it really quick at the same time. So I'm going to try to make it <laughs> go a bit more faster than I usually do on stream because I mess around a bunch. But this is my Alice. This is basically what you're tr going to try to build in some way or form. It comes with several parts. It's about six layers, if I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six layers with a brass plate in between. You might have a copper one. You might have something else. And this is kind of what a good uh, it looks like in the end, just to give you an idea. Um, most orders are frosted acrylic, uh, but there are a lot of clear acrylic orders too. Uh, the clear acrylic ones are not uh, put together yet, uh, while the frosted, most of them are. Uh, there are some other colors out there that I haven't put together either, so th I'm going to just start from scratch. Uh, for this build guide, I'm going to use a teal alice. And I have all parts here. I already dropped something, not yet. So this is like raw out of the cutter. I didn't even clean this up or anything. But basically this is what your parts should look like normally. Um, so we're gonna go through these. You should have two of these small ones. If you miss anything, so what we're gonna do is self QC right now, self quality control. Uh, I checked most parts, but there's always a chance that I make a mistake. So what you should do is you ha should have two of these parts. You should have a full back plate, which looks like this, with an engraving. Definitely check the engraving if it's in good quality. That's one of the important ones. And always check all the corners if they're all like good, like good cut. Sometimes there might be like a little stripe here or anything, but that's not a problem. If there are any like bad cuts, please let me know as soon as possible. Um, because I have a lot of like bad cuts sometimes happen and it's uh it's not always great but you can see all this is super smooth there are no like sharp edges everything is perfectly fine so you have a back plate switch plate which is the fake switch plate this one goes in between the plate and the pcb and then you should have three top plates these are basically like the the layouts so one, one of the things you really need to watch out for is these parts these sometimes get bra uh, broken in shipping because they're so like thin uh, and from vibrations or whatever, sometimes they break. If you have breakage, please tell me and I can send you a new plate. You can go ahead building everything because these plates can really be swapped out. If this plate is broken, this is one of the only important plates that should be in perfect condition because you cannot replace this one. Since it's basically when you solder it, it's uh, mashed in between the plates and the PCB and you cannot get this one out. But these, these should be, like you need to look at these that they're in perfect condition. Please, before you build it, check and control everything you should have two of these I already mentioned and you should have two of these parts these come separated uh, you won't see the actual hookup point but there is a nice lip in these so they fit nicely together like that like that and everything fits that's what you need and then you should have five of these I know these are not cleaned up <coughs> excuse me should have brought some water because I feel my voice already going. So you should have five of these. These are raw from the cutter. Uh, currently there are no, <laughs> I'm answering Twitch chat too, but there are currently no Alice's available. And there's nothing happened to my phone. It's just uh, a sticker, which I kind of like. I like the raw internals of like a phone, but yeah. Um, so these are all the parts that you would need. You see, if you put them together on top, you see they're like all different sizes. So, yeah, that's another thing you need to like be mindful of when you put the whole thing together. Yeah, it is a D brand skin. I, I like the D brand skins from uh, for your phone. Anyways, one of the most important parts is now I'm gonna grab. Actually, I want to let Twitch chat decide. Decide. Do I get a copper plate or a brass plate for this build? Personally, I like my brass way more than my copper because it goes better with my hardware. So, oh, that's a blister. That's such a good question, but it's too long to answer. I'm going to first do this build and I'll answer later. Okay, I see an awful lot of brass in there too, so I'm going to do brass because I like brass more.
This is a PCB. Almost fucking cut my foot off. Okay, so it's not redacted. This is from uh, Jim K. Dracula, by the way. Anyways, so this is the brass plate. Oops, wrong way. This is the brass plate. So one of the things you need to watch out for is this brass plate is oxidizable. These are not coated because they go in between acrylic anyways, so it's not really necessary. But just, I wouldn't say, please don't touch them too much with your hands. Your finger oils might patina them. Uh, which call which might cause like streaks on it or whatever. So you don't want that. Um, so what you're gonna start with basically what you need is I would build this is my personal preference, is you build the whole top first, put the plate in between, and then build it from the back while you put switches in, in it. So I'm gonna grab some switches first. These are all looped from the same batch. So exactly the same switches as this. I need uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, four stops. that bag all right let's go you can touch your patina plate from Salvin because that one will be Cerakoted and clear I think after the patina is done to lock in the patina uh, you can sandblast clear acrylic you can probably fuck it up with acetone uh, there are different methods but I wouldn't honestly like most of those methods are kind of not recommended anyways Let's talk hardware. This is going to be the baggie you will get, right? So we're going to separate the red parts first. There are these. Where's my Logitech capture? Let's put the autofocus a bit back there. So these are literally like brass standoffs with a little nub. You want to separate these, first of all, from the rest of the batch. You wanna separate the, the batch, uh, the screws out of it too. Normally there should always be like some extra screws cause sometimes people lose them. You have no clue how many people ask for like new screws on like a weekly basis, it's insane. And then you need to be mindful of <laughs> your screen is frosted shit, all right. So you separate all the screws from the rest of the batch then you need to be mindful of the length of the stabilizers. So you can see these are the two kind of length lengths you have. They're very close, but you can clearly see there's a, there is a difference, right? So 
So you want to separate the short ones from the long ones. There should be only four long ones in there. Because those will be used underneath these long, like these two. These two are the other edges. These two will be paired with the long standoffs. So these are the long standoffs. Then you have the short ones. Then you will screw in these ones with the nub in the short ones to make extra long ones. Now you should have six of those. bringing the camera a bit closer so you basically screw in the shortest one with the long one with the nub to make like extra long ones yeah. okay normally you should only have two extra of these but they're like four extra in these because I tend to package extra ones of the smaller things no problem you didn't do anything wrong so put the hardware to the side for a little bit and then we're gonna grab so from the three top ones these are the three top ones take the very top one it has smaller switch cutouts and remove the plastic I just cut my nails today so it's gonna be harder for me to scratch them off this is very satisfying make sure like this is the top one so you can touch this. The rest, please make sure you don't touch it. Uh, it doesn't matter for me because it's uh, opaque acrylic. It won't matter that much for frosted acrylic either. But for clear acrylic, don't touch the inner sides. Because then your oils are going to be on it. And then dust might get on it. And it will get stuck on it. So what you want to do is you want to move fast if you have clear acrylic. Clear acrylic like this, perfect. This thing, immaculate. When I build it, there is no dust in here. Like you can see, I can see like one speck on top, but for the rest there's no dust. This is what it should look like if you're done. If you make a clear acrylic one. But just be very mindful. So what you want to do is, first of all, the back basically will contain the foot. So you want to put all the longest ones you just created by putting the small one and the long one together. I want to put them on the back. I mean, you can do it in a clean room or do it on like the kitchen table or whatever. You don't even have to wear gloves, honestly. I wear gloves sometimes if it's like a really difficult build, which requires me like to play around with the brass plate, but... So, for everyone that already will get a build, a pre-build one, you, all, you don't really need to listen to any of these steps. But I'll show you what to do if you have a pre-built one and how to open it up to actually put the PCB in there. So you just put the longest one on the back of the acrylic, see? So it, it kind of looks like this. And then to the sides, you put the long ones. That means that means there need to be two long ones here and two long ones here. Two short ones in the middle. So long, long, short. I know it's kind of intricate, but it's all part of the grander design. Honestly, I played around a lot with this. Like, there was something weird about the Alice when you use like too many layers. The whole design looks kind of whack. Uh, and then you use the longer ones again on the end. Almost messed up there. You do not want to be like Teha when he was building my board. Because he lost control. So what you want to do then, you take like the rest of the top layers, just remove the like the plastic from it and start building layer by layer. I will upload these this VOD specifically, I'm recording right now, I will upload it to my YouTube. As like a build guide because I feel like otherwise people will not know where to even start with this build because what <laughs> what Nathan did was he literally like took it all apart the kits were already sold sorry I might do kits in a future when I actually have access to PCBs. Okay, this is it. 
So you can see there's like a PCB cutout. You should be please mind that there should be a PCB cutout here. And then the layers to the side should look like this. They should be descending. Then it's just a question of take this. You don't even need to open it. Just take a screwdriver or whatever. You know, open it up a little bit. Just like that. That's all you need to do. Grab it on the plastic side. Then just make sure it fits. Put the rest of the plastic off. You don't need to touch the plates, please. Click, click, and it's in there. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Now to make sure you won't touch it more, take this. This is the switch plate underneath it. Pull the plastic off. Three, two, one and we'll lock it in place. See, now in theory, you cannot touch this plate. You see? Because you don't need to touch a plate anymore. So everything is fine. You can see there's like a little gap where the switch can hold on to. It's very nice. This is my signature move. This is what I do. Please no copy. Then you have the two smaller halves. Just remove the plastic from those halves. Just like that. Put them in place. I will mind you. You don't need to remove this plastic. If I was you, I would keep this plastic on for a bit. Before you move further. Because it adds a bit of thickness to the whole case sometimes. Take, the, take it off the back, put it in place, put switches in, and it's, a, and it's a keyboard. What you then do, you know, you put all these in, make sure they're like in the right descending layer, pull the plastic off, and you have a full keyboard. But I'm not going to do that right now. Why? Is because if you want to build this, and you have a fully built acrylic, take it out of the packaging, put it like this. Take the back off, just like that, and screw everything. Take the back off, put it to the side. You can take these parts off too, but it's not really necessary. But now we can start. Where is my PCB? I lost it. Shit, buy it here. So this is the Alice PCB that should fit in here. And it'll go like this. You can see it's a top mounted PCB. That means the USB is on the top. What we're gonna start with is putting in all the stabilizers. So something you need to watch out for when building this. Thoughts on Switch Couture's feet? I've never seen his feet, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if anyone can show send a pic of his feet. Obviously joking, please don't. Anyway, I know what you mean. They're, they're pretty, they're dope, whatever. It's not how I would design them. I like everything very linear. <laughs> so these are pretty lubed, by the way. I, I really recommend you lube them. So there are only four spots you should put uh, stabs in this. This is here, here, here. And one here there it's automatically split backspace that's for construction reasons but that's just how an Alice looks better you know Oof. I just realized that these parts are loose interesting Huh. So what you want to do is there are two holes here to put. So if you look at the tip of my screwdriver, 
There are two holes here. You can put one here and one here. I really recommend you put one the most further to the side. That means if you have a GMK set with a lot of shift keys, you can use different shift keys on every part of your build. For example, this, Al this uh, Alice with Phantom, I did not get a Phantom spacebar set. What I did have is two shift keys here and two shift keys here. I use a short shift here, which works out fine. Then the long shift on a normal keyboard here. And then I have two, this one that should normally be here because it's a full length shift is here. And this one is an alternate shift that you can normally use um, for like an in-between when there's like half a spacing here. So if you, if you use exactly this layout, uh, like I just did, uh, you should be able to use every single shift from, yeah, turn this thing. So wait, let me check. <laughs> so you should have the most left one. So when I turn around, wait, most left. One, two, oh my God, I'm so smooth brain. Sorry, it's more to the middle. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> if you have a big brain, you put them mostly to the middle, right? So you take the hole closest to the middle and you put it in exactly at that spot. Okay, so it looks like that. That makes sense. All right, sorry, man. I'm a bit of a smooth brain sometimes. No wrinkles in my brain. Then this speaks for itself, automatic holes. Imagine having a <laughs> brain wrinkle. All right. Put in here. And then you only need one for your enter key here. And that's it. Nothing more. I told, like I told Alexotos on stream, please do not use a non, like you need to split this. This, it's the, this is the ultimate layout. Okay, whatever your plans are, please do not do your own thing. Do what I'm telling you. <laughs> do exactly this. I'm gonna give you a second to take it in. So this this one needs to be most the mo the position closest to the middle. This one is the only option. This one is the only option. And put in your enter key. Don't put one here. Don't put one on top. This is the best. This is the best. All right, you can put your backspace here if you want a full backspace and that's based. All right, so what we're gonna do now is just flip it over. Now it's all a friction fit, right? And just push this in and normally everything will fit perfectly. I know it's a bit tight sometimes, but it should fit perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna grab some switches now. What we're gonna do now is just take some switches and we're gonna put them in the outer sides. Solder them in so the whole PCB is stable. Then we could fit in all the rest of them, all right? Actually, I'm gonna take these off because they're a bit loose right now, but. God damn it. <laughs> all right, give me a sec. So this is how a pro does it. Oh God. One of the things you need to remember is I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, and whatever I say goes, so. The worst thing is with like these looped koalas is that I put switch films in it. So the legs are a bit wide, you know, like the clipping legs. So if this plate is, cause this plate doesn't have like the side uh, thingies to like crack open switches after you install them. So it tends, so they sometimes tend to like burst open when you like slide them in because like the ed the legs get grabbed on the plate and then split open and then the tops jumps off. Are there any s split boards with a function row? I don't remember. If anyone knows one, please direct your answer to chat right now. Okay, this one sits good. This one sits good. This one sits good. This one sits good. Wait, is that it? Oh yeah, and this one seems good. All right. So I'm gonna take my soldering iron right now, my certified duct taped 
soldering iron. <sighs> well, that's heating up. I'm gonna read chat for a bit. Hello, Katakana Xkaji. I'm doing pretty damn good. Just streaming, building a quick Alice for the boys, uh, showing you guys how it's done. It's gonna be beautiful teal Alice. I just realized I can kind of remove all these LEDs from the back because they're not going to be used anyways. Hmm. One thing I can also talk about is when this back plate is on, you'll still have access to your little reset button. But if you're smart, you probably bought a Ref2 PCB, which is compatible with Via, and you shouldn't even touch that thing. But hey, to each their own. Let's grab my solder. Soda. Turn my fan on. Time to start soldering. Soldering. Let me turn my music down a little bit. It's a bit loud. So just as normal, we just want to lock in some switches, so we can pop in all the rest ones. Uh, make sure the PCB is like sitting as deep as it can. Very important because you don't have much space in this Alice case. So really push the PCB down when you're soldering. So it's really grabbing there, because this case is tight. It means when you screw everything down, the back is gonna be against the plate, which gives it a pretty deep noise because it's basically uh yeah there's no air gap at all if you don't push this all the way in your back will be bowed so please be mindful of that Uh, did I solder every piece? Yes, 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 okay. So let me plug this one out, put it back in this thing, turn my fan off. Now it's time to put all the switches in. Easy. See how fast this goes? It's such an easy build. Easiest build in the game. So you can just grab it from the back, no problem. You cannot hurt the PCB anymore anyways. And then it's just... Yeah, then you just vibe. And now I can answer any question for you guys. So start asking away. I'll answer basically anything you want. Have you ever thought about uploading a video on YouTube for time lapse build? Well, this is gonna go on YouTube because it's uh, a, bit of a, a bit of a build guide. I'm currently recording it actually. Wait, is it 30 minutes long already? Damn. 30 minute YouTube video. Can I even upload that long videos? Or will I have to split it up? When are you coming to Mexico? <laughs> okay, I don't, I wanna, I'm gonna be like, uh, politically correct. But isn't Mexico kind of dangerous? I always heard that. It was like, run by cartels. Okay, I'm like, I know I'm probably very insensitive right now, but. Or is it like specific, very bad regions of the country or whatever? Holy shit, it's Lena. Lena, when are you gonna stream? I'm waiting for it. Please mod me. I'll mod you here if you mod me when, I, when you stream, please. I mean, Bataiha has a lot of uh, subscribers, right? So I was like thinking, maybe if you don't have enough subscribers or enough views, you, they won't let you upload like really, really, really long videos on YouTube, right? It doesn't? I, I remember it used to be like that or something. Like you literally couldn't upload past 10 minutes or something when you weren't popular back in the day. 
Uh, Monster Cat, did you ever manage to engrave Clavier Soul? No, it's still a work in progress, man. I'm waiting for the plates from Selvin first. When they're all patina, then fine, I'll make all the individual Alice's. Because I need to do some other patina uh, and some other engravings for other people too, still. Um, oh, look. My boy Kinda Keyboards knows who Lena is. Also, hi, Milo. I'm gonna be in Antwerp tomorrow evening, by the way. So, Milo, if you need a key set, tell me, bro. And I'll bring it. If you're there, but I think you're on vacation now. Didn't you say that? I have done that before, yeah. Polishing sides of acrylic based. So here, mind you, this, it's a split one, right? So it goes like this. One sits all the way to the left, one sits all the way in the, in the corner. <laughs> you can upload up to 15 minutes to YouTube if you give your phone number, I think. You can upload really, really long vids. Oh, okay, makes sense. Wait, we'll have enough switches. Oh, my thumb is already starting to hurt. But yeah, look how clean this plate is. And that's purely because I'm practicing all these. So if you if you actually have a clear acrylic one, I would suggest you put in all the plates first. And like maybe even like tape it up. Uh, so you can touch the backside while you put it in. So don't remove the plastic from the rest of them. Just for security reasons. I mean, I can edit it myself probably too. Also, how would I send it to you? I think it's like, it's gonna be like a couple of gigabytes. Probably. God damn it, this is so tight. Yeah, some timestamps. I don't know how I'll do it, but. It's gonna be my first YouTube video, so please don't uh, expect too much. Come on, click in. Yeah. Almost there. Like, honestly, this Alice layout is, like, perfect for, like, uh, for, like, a good GMK set. Like, stepped caps lock, all the other, like, little things that just make a GMK set shine. Did you guys see what happened to GMK First Love? There's some post on Reddit about, like, some guy got, like, really mangled looking caps. Which is quite interesting. Because I heard like Jim K was lacking lately, but I never seen like any examples until the, like today. So I really wonder what happened. There is like it almost seems like impossible for me that they missed that in QC. So maybe like it, something went wrong with the packaging, um, or the 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 set got too hot or whatever. Yeah, they melted in transit. That makes sense. But like ABS is like a pretty high s melting temperature too. Like. So hopefully some other people that stream will get their Alice too. And then they will make better videos on how this is made. Oh. Yeah, see this one is open. Click. Beautiful koala. These are filmed instead, so it's kind of sad that I need to like reuse some random ones. But same exact switch, so shouldn't be that much of a problem. So with this one, be careful; it needs to be all the way to the middle. This one needs to be in the middle. All right, click. Switches back in the bag. 
Now it's soldering time. Plugging myself back in. I feel like I'm pre being pretty efficient. It's gonna be a long stream already. 30 minutes? I feel like I'm trying to like go really fast through this, but it's still taking pretty long. Then take your solder. Just go through them one by one. You know how it is. Oh God. Loud. Honestly, go row by row. It's like a new solder roll, it's just so much better. It's like thicker, so it like grabs more of the heat, so it immediately melts. I really like it. So again, be really mindful that the PCB is sitting very low against the switches. If it's not sitting low against the switches, it won't like fit in the case right, so please. So I'm just gonna row by row. First left hemisphere, left side, right side. Getting my tip from time to time. Also, last time we talked about me buying a Hako, a professional solder, instead of one with uh, duct tape wrapped around it. I looked around, shit's expensive. If anyone, again, if anyone knows one, a source in Europe, for like a decent price, please let me know. Although I think the cheapest option will still be buying from Amazon. But even then, the lead times on that one were like pretty high. I thought it was like three weeks or something, if not more. It's kind of weird. I like, if I can get something immediately, it's so much easier for me to justify my spending. If it like waits a long time, especially like with keyboards, it's like, eh. It's so long still. So these are all soldered. Let me check if all of these are. Yes. Yep. Next row. Getting there. Look, it's almost done. You can have your own Alice in like less than an hour. How awesome is that? Sorry, I'm not much of a reading chat. I'm really trying to concentrate here.
Didn't Sel Selvin and Zambalon say they could point you in the direction yesterday? I should ask uh, Selvin. Probably will visit Selvin soon, so I'll ask him in real life. Next row. Make sure you have a nice cone. It's almost the last one. All right, about four more switches. because it's actually five. Five. Okay, let me check every switch if everything is soldered. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like this one isn't sitting low enough. Okay. Just putting it down a little bit. And... Yep, they're all done. Yeah. Hi, I'm back. I'm Chu. <laughs> H-E. Putting my solder away. Okay, so. Back to the old parts. Put this back in. I'm going to pull the back off here. Flip it over. Put it back in. Put everything in its place. Perfect. So what you want to do now is take these. Pull the back off. But I like the, the brass color with, together with like the color of the actual material is so beautiful. sure you, you fasten everything really well then it's time for to take the silicon feet you got put like some strips here here it depends what I send you with uh, I gave some people silicon strips who can go here other people have like silicon bump ponds you can put them to there is enough surface area so what you want to do then is just take this and check which one is the shortest which one is the longest so I think it's like this all right let me check uh, I think it's like this. One second, I'm trying to like look which one. Okay, so this is like the proper descending version. So take this one first. Plastic off. 
Again, make sure that all the acrylic is in a good state too before you actually start building. That way, if anything it doesn't look immaculate, you can let me know. layer put one screw in just screw it down then all the rest sorry I'm blocking the cam just putting screws in so let's see, 47 minutes, so 50 minutes, about an hour it will take till I complete this. If you work as fast as me. And then you should have everything perfect state. If anything goes wrong, please check. This is what it looks like. Beautiful case. Yeah, I can't say much. You can see the logo fit almost a bit. Do you want me to put a GMK set on this? Let me check if it's pre-flashed actually. See if I can type already on this. Hi. Works. Uh, fine. E. Yeah. So yeah, it works fine. You just need to flash it with your own unique layout that you kind of want. You can play around with like these buttons, especially the underside. This one could definitely be like an FN button. Uh, what you want this to be, you could like put your escape keys or whatever here. Um, but yeah, that's all up to you. So, do we put a, a key set on this? Or do we end it now? Probably end it now. So, for this bag in particular, I had one extra screw, some extra standoffs you could probably lose. Just keep them in a safe spot. Don't go, don't lose them. So. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to end the YouTube video, especially right now. Uh, so I'm going to stop recording. Thank you all for watching.